Hi everyone, it's Tanya Lee Davis here. I uh, just want to give you, I guess, a video of what happened in today's events uh, regarding Ra Western Rail's treatment of me. It's been a long day, so apologies. Um, yeah, so we were coming back from Plymouth to uh, London Paddington, and we got on the train at 11 o'clock in the morning. And I didn't reserve the wheelchair space because I book through an online service called Journey Care. And the form has been acting up the last two weeks and it's been very difficult to book assistance. But since we're getting on at the beginning of the journey and getting off at the end, that's usually not an issue. So we get on the train or we get to the train station and there's no disabled carriage. Um, the only space they have is in the wheelchair is in the first class carriage and um the guard was like really weird about not the guard the platform guy was really weird about putting me on anyway and he's like well you know it's not reserved but if a wheel a person in a wheelchair comes on they have priority over you and i was like here we go again okay whatever we'll deal with that when we come to it so kevin was sitting there's the really small wheelchair space and kevin was sitting directly in front of my scooter and then i was sitting across the aisle and um, we were well into it, an hour into the journey. We, we got to, um, I'm not even sure what the stop is, before Taunton, I wasn't paying attention. And a woman got on and there was all this commotion and I hear that he had the guard coming on and he's like, you gotta fold up this scooter and I've got all my suitcases. Meantime, I also have a bag from a man who had this massive like a sack, like not a suitcase, but a like a bag. He couldn't fit in the overhead, so I, I said he could put it across the top of my scooter. Plus, I had our suitcase or our suitcases on, and so he wanted me to fold the scooter up. And it's like Kevin hurt, you know, uh, sprained his wrist on Wednesday. We didn't want to have to take everything apart, nor should I. It's a woman with a baby pram who's who's holding her child now in care, you know, help getting uh, help got help putting the baby buggy on the train and she's yelling at Kevin to get out of her seat and that she bought that seat when he was sitting in a non-reserved seat there was nobody that had reserved the wheelchair space or the chair across from it um I think she, her seat was one of the ones I was sitting in um but anyway uh, she kicked up a fit and then the guard you know was basically you know giving me shit and so I got on my scooter I got Kevin to videotape and I maneuvered and I backed up into the door and I couldn't like they had such a hard time getting the baby pram by and I was like I don't understand that comes apart why she's holding her kid right now she also has a um a uh, what do you call it a car seat thing underneath so just take the you know if you don't want to hold your kid put it in the car seat and then you can sit with the child like Kevin was more than willing to give up a seat or he, she could have sat where she put the baby on the table. I've seen many people do that. Nope. She had to have that space. And the guard sided with her. And because I was told that I was not allowed to stay on my scooter when I got on the train. It, I mean, for me to be parked in the narrow vestibule, every time the train came to a stop, I had to get off my ass, walk to my scooter, and move it. And the guards would said, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. And I'm like, you shouldn't be touching my scooter. Like, you don't know how to work it. So it got all escalated, and and um, he basically said, fine, I'm calling the police, and this train will be stopped at Taunton. And, it, and then he made an announcement over the tannoy saying that it was the woman in the with the mobility scooter that was causing problems, and that we would be delayed indefinitely. And... Um, other people tried to come help. Two really nice girls from carriages were like, can we help you? Can we take you off? You can come sit with us. And I'm like, that's not the point. I appreciate that. But, you know, I, I get if it. Fine, if it was another wheelchair, if it was booked. I, I've been in that situation. But it was a baby pram. Oh, that's very frustrating. Anyway, I agreed to leave the scooter in the vestibule and walk back and forth. And it was humiliating. And I cried for most of the journey home, which was really embarrassing. And I'm sick of this, having to deal with this all the time. I don't know what it is about this country. And they really make you feel disabled. 
just trying to make a living. I'm trying to make people laugh <laughs> and share all my good experiences, but this country really drags a person down. And I, I'm hoping through social media that and this can get out there because just because I have a mobility scooter it doesn't make me pariah. It doesn't make me less disabled. It needs to be classified. Obviously the big tank ones, yes, but no. I have the smallest possible scooter you can have. And I can turn it on a dime, so there's no reason why I should get discriminated against. So, all I can ask is please share this and help. You know, I have a Scooter Girl campaign fa page on Facebook. And any, any help with any of this would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.